In some cases, uh, while making gradual deformity correction, the strut reaches its maximal or minimal meaning, but there is still necessity to lengthen or shorten the strut. In this case, we will show you the uh, case in which the strut reaches its maximal uh, meaning. You see the indicator of strut length. So, to make the uh, possibility of further lengthening the strut, it's necessary first to loosen the second screw, which is close to the yellow cylinder, and then to turn gray part of the strut's length change in the unit and yellow cylinder in the opposite directions. The uh, turning of the strut of uh, these parts should be equal of equal value. You see how is it made? And here you see that the uh, strut length re uh, remains the same. You see the indicator in the beginning. You see it's at maximal meaning, and then you see the indicator during the procedure, and you see the final position of the indicator. So the length of the strut remains the same, but there is the opportunity for further lengthening of the strut. After this procedure, you have to fix the second screw. Here you see an example in which the strut, while making gradual deformity correction, reached its maximum length. You see the indicator of the strut, which uh, shows that it's uh, the, the yellow cylinder is at its final position. So, how, what should we do? Uh, first, we have to untighten the uh, lock nuts. By 12 millimeters range, we do it first. Then, by hands, we move the uh, lock nuts. Then, we take the Allen key and untighten the uh, screw number two, which is close to the yellow cylinder. Then, in one hand, we take the uh, gray part of the strut length changing unit, and another hand the yellow cylinder. And uh, now we have to turn them uh, to minus, yellow cylinder to minus, and gray cylinder in opposite direction. You see, the motions by the right and the left hand are equal. They must be equal. In this case, we make transfer of the uh, yellow body along the internal threaded clutch and along the threaded rod and the strut length, length while this should remain the same. You see how is it made? The, the length remains the same. No motion of bone fragments while doing this procedure. It's very... Then we tighten the second screw by Allen key. You see the indicator of the strut length. Now the strut is possible to turn to make lengthening, as you see. And then it's necessary to tighten the lock nuts. First we move them by fingers, and then we tighten it by 12 millimeters range, holding the yellow cylinder. Another example. While making gradual deformity correction, the strut came to its minimal value. We have to make a reverse procedure, but this reverse procedure will be in another direction as in previous example. Uh, you see, we have uh, to first to take 12 millimeters range and to untighten the uh, lock nuts then we have to use allen key 
and untighten the second screw, the screw which is close to the yellow cylinder. Then we have to turn the yellow cylinder and gray part of the struts length changing unit in opposite directions. The yellow cylinder will go to plus direction and the gray corpus will go uh, to opposite direction for the same value. You see it's very very uh, important to move the uh, yellow cylinder and gray corpus to the uh, same to the equal value. If it's difficult in some cases to do it manually, to do it by hands, it's possible to use 12 millimeters wrenches. So, as soon as uh, the indicator shows uh, us that we can uh, shorten this rod, then we can f tighten the uh, second screw. You see the uh, whole length of this rod remains. Now it's possible to make further shortening of the strut. You see, we turn the yellow body and the yellow cylinder and uh, the strut shortens. And now we have to tighten the uh, lock nuts.